Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with a channel update. Now, I know many of you might have been, especially the ones that follow me on my um, community page, um, may have been expecting a 1972 card and dice uh, matchup between the Montreal Expos and Philadelphia Phillies. Well, that's not going to happen. For reasons I won't go into at the moment, but that's not going to happen. But hey, you got a channel update right here, and that is something everybody can get into. So it's been a month since I did the last one, and it was a month before I'd done the one before that. So now I guess we're starting a new thing where I'm going to give a channel update every month. Um, and they get views. So hey, you know, there's that. So anyway, let's get into the channel update, let you know what's going on with my channel. First of all, we've got the Round Robin Card and Dice Baseball Tournament, which I'm sure many of you are aware is going on. And recently, we uh, just had the uh, 20, what was it, the 2018 Astros, I think, were upset by the 1983 California Angels. That was big. The California Angels dispatched them in four games. So the Angels were a 71 team that won in the first round against a team that was better. I forget which one it was. Yeah, I forget which one it was. But, um, and then they advanced to the next round, and then they went up against the 2018 Astros, and now they have advanced to the semifinal round. And uh, that, and because of that, that was the last AL series so, uh, for round two. So the field for the AL is set for the next round. Now, in the next round, three teams advance for the a AL and the NL. The best team, the highest seeded team, will sit out. And the other two will play to decide who plays the highest seeded team in the ALCS and the NLCS, is what I'll call them. So the AL field is set, and that next round, the next round is still going to be best of five, and that is going to be the um, 83 Angels going up against the 89 Royals. Now, the 83 Angels have beaten, you know, a very good Astros team, so I think they can beat, they can upset the 89 Royals. The team sitting out is the 88 A's, though. And so, even if the Angels advance, they advance to play the 88 A's. I don't like their chances. So, um, but there is still one more uh, series to play in round two, and that's in the NL. And that is going to be the 1990 Reds. Remember those? With the nasty boys in the bullpen and uh, the All-American boy, uh, Jack Armstrong. That was a great team. They're going to go up against the 84 Padres, who I personally love. Uh, Steve Garvey, I think Steve Garvey was on the 84 Padres. And um, Goose Gossage and uh, I think all those guys were... Um, but yeah, that was a great team. Uh, Terry Kennedy, love Terry Kennedy. So be on the lookout for that. That should be starting pretty quickly. That could be up uh, Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure which. It depends because I've got another, I'll get to that, but I've got another um, also game that has to be Friday or Saturday. Uh, so let's see what else we got. Um, the White Sox Imagine season is rolling on, and that's exactly the other game that I have to do Friday or Saturday. It's going to be the next game in the White Sox Imagined season. And, you know, strangely, their Imagined season is going just about how their 2021 real season is going. They're not that great, and even either one. So... Um, and, and speaking of that, that is also something I'm doing every week. I'm giving a White Sox update every week, a White Sox recap of the week that was every Sunday. 
And uh, last night they uh, they had a game postponed, probably by snow. I'm going to guess it was by snow. They were supposed to play Cleveland. Um, so um, that game was postponed. Um, and the White Sox right now in real life are 9-9. Nine and nine. Not that impressive for a team that was supposed to be kicking ass. It's not. So anyway, and so th that's another thing. It's, you know, look for that every Sunday if you're interested in the White Sox um, uh, recaps, and especially if we played one of your favorite teams during that week. Um, yeah, so let's see, what do we got? Uh, what else we got here? And then there are going to be occasionally there will be an out of the park game, which I just did. I'm doing the presently. I'm in the 1897 season with the 1897 Louisville Colonels, who are terrible, quite terrible. The defense is atrocious, and the pitching is not far behind. So um, it, it's a tough, it's tough to get through that. But every so often, I will do another game in that out of the park series, and um, you know, and I. You know, I've had my issues with the realism, with the way that I'm playing out of the park. Now, I suppose that there are ways to play it better, um, where it's more realistic. But for those reasons, I took a team. I went all the way back to 1897, where nobody remembers. And I took a team that was terrible, so that the only place I could go was up. And I haven't started up yet. And I can be fired in this version, so I may actually be the manager of another team pretty soon. We'll see. I, I don't. I can't imagine that their patience is going to last that long. And uh, what else is occasion? And occasionally, I will do a Strat computer hockey game. I expect one of those to be up next week. Um, from my actual competitive league that I'm in, where I'm the Canadians, and we also have a bad team in that league. I have not really mastered how to put a good hockey team together in a competitive league, although it is essentially an all-star league. So, you, I mean, I have a lot of good players, and you can have a lot of good players and still get a bad record in a league like that. But I expect a game for that to be up soon. And then, of course, there's the football, card and dice football league, the Stratomatic, the um, Sportsman Z Stratomatic card and dice football league. And I expect to be starting the regular season very soon. I've done three preseason games, um, which you might want to go back and check, although apparently a lot of people have been looking at those. I expect that to start soon, but I still don't have a definite startup date. It will be well before the fall. It may even be in May. I'm going to shoot for May for the start of the season, for the first regular season game. Still got some setup to do with that, though. So that is the update. Um, let me know what else you guys would be interested in seeing. Um, let me know how you think it's going. Uh, give me a thumbs up on the video. Leave a comment. Comments are awesome because comments put me on the map with, with YouTube. And so do thumbs up and pretty much everything. And if you happen to see this video, if you're sitting there watching it and saying, all right, yeah, the sportsman's doing this, that, and the other thing, but you're not subscribed, hey, get subscribed. Doesn't cost you anything. You know, I'm subscribed to, you know, 40,000 channels, some of which I don't even watch just because I thought I would watch them. And, uh, yeah, so you could do that. Hit the subscribe button, and off you go. So that's going to be it for me for this edition of uh, this month's edition of the channel update. And that is Bob Zolke, Sportsman Z, signing out.